Hello again. So I have a box here that I am more excited about than any other stamp purchase I have made in years. Here's how I got it. I have a saved search on eBay that I monitor regularly. And the search words are stamp album. And it is sorted by buy it now and newly listed. That way I catch deals like this one when they first hit the market. If you've yet to see my intro video, just let me say that I collect things because I love them, first and foremost. And I am also a serious investor in collectibles. That's why I paid $250 for this box. Let's see if I can open it without knocking anything over. You know, that might be difficult. Going to be very careful with this album. I have seen 12 pictures and I've talked to the seller. I've traded emails with the seller enough to believe that I have a beautiful, beautiful find here. So, this is a Davo Hingeless Stamp Album, Volume 1, for French stamps. My high-end uh, stamps are stored in Davo albums, so this one's going to look great on my shelf. I think they are absolutely beautiful, and they rarely pop up on the secondary market. So, you can imagine my surprise when this one came along, since at some point I was going to pay good money for an empty one of these, and this one is far from empty. All right. I'm so excited. The first page is the first one I saw. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I'm trying to get the glare up. Oh my gosh. Those are amazing. Beautiful cancel, Paris, 1862. I want to pull each of these out and look at them individually, and I will when I have more time. But on a first glance, this the margins are fantastic. They are all very clean. That's a beautiful, beautiful page. Oh, that one's unused, at least I think so. To the 80. Someday I'll have that guy. <laughs> oh, complete set with some great cancels. This was put together by a serious collector. Another complete set to the one frame. Some great cancels on those. Unused four. Another great cancel. Socked on the nose. These are beautiful. I cannot believe I got this for $250. Uh, part of it is that few people know what their stamp albums are truly worth. 
That's a great set. Look at that. Unused, unused. Could be Mint Never Hinged. The seller told me that a lot of this collection is actually Mint Never Hinged, but that would be pretty early for that. But those are all unused. Unused three franc. Unused five franc. That's a great looking set. I'll tell a, a quick story. So my, uh, my father-in-law recently found out that I'm a stamp collector and he shared photos with me from his dad's collection. I told him how wonderful it was that he inherited it and what a keepsake it is. And when he asked me how much it was worth, I was honest. The vast majority of stamp albums in the world are worth less than a hundred dollars. And that's if you are able to find a buyer. This is, I paused here. This is a absolutely beautiful unused set and could be not never hinged who knows oh there's the semi cancels with albums with stamp albums like my father-in-law's there's always there's often an emotional connection to them another nice set um your dad or your grandmother spent hours putting each stamp into its place very carefully. And so they are beloved and they're worth holding on to simply for that reason. But that doesn't necessarily make them collectible. That's a nice stamp. That's a nice stamp. I have to look at the back of that one. If this is a so mint never hinged means it was never put into a stamp album with a hinge, and there is a hinge remnant on that. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's still there's original gum that's still a very nice stamp. The most valuable stamps are the ones that look like they were just released from the post office, they were never hinged, they were never in an album. Um, but that's still a very nice, nice stamp. The glare on the, on the plastic is a little bit troublesome, but hopefully you can see okay. So back to stamp albums. It's exactly what happened with baseball cards. Um, we all thought our collections back in the 90s were going to be valuable for years. And it turns out there are tens of thousands of them. That's a nice page. And uh, the people who still collect cards probably already have what you do. I love French stamps. I think they are so beautiful. And this is a nice set. I think from here on out, it's virtually full. Look at that. And they're virtually either mint or mint in the branch. There's a few gaps for me to fill, which I, I will do. My original thought with this album was that I would use it to fill gaps in the ones that I currently keep, but this is so nice onto its own, I think I won't. But, you know, just because most stamp albums aren't valuable as we all wish and hoped they would be, it doesn't mean that there aren't collections that are worth good money. And if you have a collection like this, if you have one that was obviously very well curated by a collector, I, one of the things I wanted to say in this video was that please know there are collectors like me 
who are willing to pay good money for good quality stamps. There's a new generation of us. And we see the beauty and the value. This is just, I mean, this is virtually full. Now we're into the war years. I, I am a little speechless. These are just so pristine. <laughs> you know, uh, just because we'll pay good money for quality doesn't mean that we're not going to jump on a deal. And, you know, I do think I got a really good deal with this, but that, you know, $250 is still a good chunk of money. And that's something I've learned over time. When I uh, spend my total budget for collectibles on one big item like this, I feel better about it than when I buy a, a handful of smaller pieces. And I think it's a better investment, too. That's a nice set. And now we're getting into some of the more beautiful artwork. Stamps from 47 or 48, somewhere around there on for most countries are fairly common, but that doesn't make them any less beautiful to me. And they tell such stories. There's a nice set of semi-postals. On and on it goes. Here are the air mails. New. I love that stamp. I think that's such a cool stamp. And some for me to fill. These are quite nice and collectible. Oh! the postage too and the imperfs that's a nice collection missing a few I'm sure that's the high end one and another nice Yep. Okay, so we're on to the UNESCO. I think that's about it. I'll take you back to the first page because I know I want to look at it again. Oh, my little guy fell. There, I'll put him there so you can say hi. Yeah, that's the office space. There, join the party. Unbelievable album. Ah, so, first page. simply gorgeous so thank you for joining me on a remarkable journey through uh, or I should say a, a journey through a remarkable album and uh, in the comments below uh, let me know what you found recently that you treasure see you next time